A manhunt is underway in Germany after thieves made off with a priceless haul of jewellery. The brazen heist took place early Monday morning. This surveillance footage shows two burglars smashing their way into the Green Vault Museum in Dresden Castle, stealing around 100 pieces of historic treasure. CNN's Phil Black has more. The target, one of Europe's most valuable collections of treasure, suggests a technically complex, professionally planned and executed movie-style heist. But as this security video shows, it was far less sophisticated. One of the two thieves is seen repeatedly striking a display case with an axe. The museum's interactive tour shows the contents of that case. They escaped with three sets of jewellery, including finely crafted necklaces. Together, the sets were made up of around 100 individual diamonds, pearls and rubies. The Green Vault is famous for its extraordinary, priceless collection from the early 1700s. The incredibly ornate rooms were first built by local leader Augustus the Strong when he was keen to turn the region into a Florence-like hub of art and culture. The collection survived World War II, but the vault's rooms, like much of Dresden, were rebuilt. The museum says the value of the stolen pieces can't be calculated accurately because they're too well known to ever be sold on the open market. But news of the Green Vault raid inspired shock among local officials who say the collection is invaluable as part of the region's culture, history and identity. It's not just about the material value, but also the immaterial value, which is inestimable for the state of Saxony. As our state premier has said, overnight the whole of Saxony was stolen from. Police don't know if the thieves had hoped to get away with more, but one extraordinary piece of treasure was well beyond their reach. The famous 41-carat Dresden Green Diamond is currently on loan to the Met Museum in New York. Phil Black, CNN, London. And for more on this, we're joined by Scott Selby in Los Angeles. He is the co-author of Flawless, Inside the Largest Diamond Heist in History. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much. Good to be here. So what were your thoughts when you saw that surveillance footage of two thieves smashing their way into this jewellery display case with an axe? It's pretty amazing. I mean, um, normally these heists are very intricate, and this is a smash and grab, you know, like somebody in your neighbourhood smashes a local retail store and grabs stuff. All they did here is they pried open some iron bars, smashed a window, two of them climbed in, took the axe, and then, as you see, they smashed it, grabbed everything, and got out of there. Um, they were smart. They set a fire beforehand to mess with the street lamps. They burned their getaway car. But ultimately, it's a smash and grab. It seemed very easy for them to get in and get the jewelry and get out, didn't it? Uh, it really does. I mean, that's the thing, is this exhibit, this is one of the oldest museums in Europe. They have an argument they are the oldest. And so maybe that's why the security just wasn't up to snuff. Um, normally, if you have, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars worth of precious stones, you'd have incredible security. But in this case, the thieves saw an opportunity and they took it. Yeah, of course. And of course, in their original form, these jewels are priceless and easily recognizable, so they can't be sold on the open market. So what's likely to happen to them next and how will they likely be sold, do you think? Separated and sold in individual portions? Yeah, I mean, it's, we're going to get quite individual. It's a tragedy. It's really, it is a cultural tragedy uh, for the people of Saxony, the people of the world. It's an artistic tragedy. These are beautiful pieces that together are so much more than the, than the sum of their parts. But the thing is, is there's nothing you could do with them as they are. If you have a diamond encrusted scabbard for a beautiful sword, you know, anybody would recognize it. So what you're going to have to do is take it all apart and then probably melt down the precious metals, take these individual stones and transform what they look like. Because even the smaller ones are very distinguishable as they were cut very differently back then. And the big ones could take some serious, you know, changes. It's, it's a, really a sad loss to all of us. And we're just lucky that the big green stone was safe in the Met. Yeah, that uh, was incredible, wasn't it? Uh, now, so we're, we're talking about these three sets of uh, jewellery containing the 100 individual uh, diamonds, mm -hmm. pearls and rubies. And when separated, 
and recut uh, the stones. Of course, that would lose considerable value. Uh, but I guess at this point, the burglars don't care about that. All that they're wanting, this smash and grab, is the resale. And they're going to do well, aren't they? But can any of these potentially be traced even when they're recut? It depends what they do with them. Um, but, you know, if they're very careful, if they're aggressive, um, it's going to be difficult. The biggest thing is, is if there are new huge stones that come on the market, people might be able to figure this out. And for instance, the Hope Diamond was part of a larger diamond for the French kings before the revolution. So it's always possible. But the sad thing is, the more time that passes, the less likely it is we're going to get these things intact. And once they've been through a process, they could appear in your neighborhood jewelry store in a few years and you would know if or know it. Right, and presumably they will sit tight for a little bit until people, well, the, the memory fades of this. We'll see what happens and we'll continue to follow it. Scott Selby, thank you so much for joining us.